Hi, this is Rachel. Hi, I'm Carl. Now we're in Philippines. So today we have invited our geodetic engineer, Mr. Carl, to help us explain the difference between shift gen access phase and site calibration. So in Philippines, when do we often do the base shift? We use base shift if the base station is being shut down, started, or moved. So basically, if you're in the project and you're going to continue it tomorrow, then we will use the base shift. Base shift will generate a new coordinates, so we'll be transforming the new generated coordinates to the original ones. So why do we need to do the site calibration? We use site calibration, for example, if we have a project control points already, and it is being different with the RTK system. So in order for us to match the coordinates, we need to collect all the project points on the ground and then we input the non cone coordinates and then we will use the site calibration because the goal of the site calibration is to match the coordinates from the project control. So in conclusion, when we start a new project, we need to do the site calibration for only one time. The purpose of site calibration is to make sure that we match the control point coordinates with the RDK measured coordinates. But every time when we repeat this project or when our base station positions have been changed, we need to do the base sheet. That is, make sure that the coordinates measured by our RDK rovers always keep consistent. Enable Gen SS RDK anywhere. Get it right every time. Did you get it? Full us. And we will show you more and more Gen SS RDK tips in the next video.